A door slide rattling. I am locked in on my own. Do you not want me to set this up in here? I don't think it's touching that. Hey everybody, welcome to Paranormal Torch and tonight I am at Readout Fort in Harwich, located in Essex, and I am locked in this old fort on my own all night. Crazy? Yes. So, um, I've been here a few hours already and <laughs> I've already had some odd noises going on in rooms where I'm on my own. I was doing some filming for the GV shots, which you're about to see, and yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. So let's take a walk around and let's see what happens. During the time of Napoleon, it was discovered that Harwich would need a new defense system to protect the land and the River Thames from any attack. After some setbacks, finally the Harwich Redoubt fought began operations in 1810. The fort was equipped with 10 main guns, a garrison of 6 officers and 250 men. It holds 18 casemates for the troops, storage and ammunition. And if the fort was under siege, it could sustain up to 300 soldiers with its own water supply. In 1969, the fort began being restored by the Harwich Society, set up to renovate and look after this historical monument. The Harwich Society spent years renovating the fort, and to this day are the project that continues to maintain this wonderful place of history. Amongst these whitewashed walls, and within the foundations of this fort, lies many artifacts linked to the local area. Steeped in history, you will find so much information about local industry. This includes fishing, agriculture and domestic activities. But what about the ghosts of Redoubt Fort? Are the spirits that haunt here connected to the land, or the artifacts? As night falls, the fort takes on a different feeling to that during the day. The feeling of shadows, watching you from the upper levels. Are the nurses still tending the patients of times gone by? The foundations that were rocked by war, holding spirits from passing over. The dark dank corridors and cells often play home to phantom footsteps, disembodied voices, and the sounds of cannon fire when no gun has been fired here during its years of operation. This area has made many people over the years feel an ominous feeling. Many people won't stay here for long. These old cells within the base of the fort often hosted prisoners of war. Many of the walls feature names and messages from those who were imprisoned here. Perhaps their final words etched in the very fabric of this building forever. Anybody there? Is that you knocking the door? Door slide rattling. Apparently, it's just an electric cupboard, so I don't know. It's kind of like this. I 
doesn't feel like any breeze. So this is Reed Outfall in Essex. Block that off obviously, they don't want you falling down there. Oh look, more guns up top. This is uh, another one where there's a project that's been spending a few years, lots of time, restoring the fort to its former glory. And they're doing a pretty fine job, I must say. So, the evil looking red room down there is my base camp, which I've already had some weird stuff going on. And, uh, I've actually placed next door in there, you can't really see it, I've placed a lock off camera. There's an old church organ in there, which has come from another location just down the road. Thing of Harry just got a good historical society and they've been looking after lots of historical areas around Harwich and the church, one of the churches that was only built in the 1900s has closed down and they've actually managed to salvage the organ and quite a few other bits and it's actually in that room next to the tea room. So check out these big guns. They are real and very heavy. Normally what you find is they have to build supports into underneath in the rooms. Certainly when I was at Cold Asphalt, there's areas you can see where the supports are. And yeah, that's what they would have fired, that sort of thing. They're probably fake. But certainly see that one's fixed actually I don't know if that belonged here probably did that's but they probably tied it as well to that these to stop it so when it fired it didn't fly back if that makes sense but certainly when you look at the other ones like here it's got two little tiny ones they wouldn't have been here but they would have had a a large one here and they can shoot a good four thousand feet I believe and then you just aim it by moving on the tracks there. That's the upstairs area. But we want to go downstairs. Because that's where the action all happens. As you can see, it comes into... There's a load, you can actually, apparently, there's doors on every section and you can unlock them all. Or used to be able to unlock them all and it'll eventually go around the whole fort. So and you can see over the years they've been doing really good displays of stuff. It's a library as well, maybe the local library might have closed and they've got the Victory in Europe, yeah. They've got a lot of the items from the library that's good for display. Well uh, I'd left. If anyone knows what this is, you may know it's the old air raid sirens. So they took the handle off because apparently kids would play with it, and I'm sure that would have been pretty damn loud in here. So sabers. Wow. See, this is the thing you don't know if anyone's been killed with these. Can you imagine it? Have these took the life of any soldiers? So out here, he can also go to the outside of the fort and he can actually walk around the outside. Uh. 
with a very big drop. It's getting quite cold as well. So, yeah, a very big drop. Apparently things are seen out here. This, it was a, a prison cell apparently, at one point. It's now obviously used as an electric cupboard or something. But, imagine that, it's not very big. But I can imagine people were obviously um, held in there for some strange reason. What the hell was that noise? I have no idea. So we've got a shell store here. It's amazing, I think a lot of these Yes, I was just about to say, they're dug, dug up at Earlham's Beach and donated to the Harris Society. So a lot of that stuff's been found. Look at the doors, I love the doors. This is the old cell block. And yeah, uh, this is a very active area. So I even get chills just going in here. Chills indeed. Oh, there's a bat there, there. They're everywhere, aren't they? Oh, Jesus. Let's get that out of me. And I was in here earlier, I forgot about it actually. That was a couple of hours ago. So, it's good how they got it set up to. Give an idea. Apparently, they're not sure what this was. They think it might have been like a little holding cell. It's quite small, but as you can see, this is all original. So. Certainly something interesting. Can you imagine it being stuck in these cells? In fact, look on the wall. I was talking about this. On the wall, it's actually got um, graffiti. This is actually, this is actually been embedded in. Demarcy died over the west. Nice. Yeah, this is pencil, and apparently this is actually original graffiti on the walls. Now, this one is interesting because it's got... This one's interesting because the boats are um, from the local uh, Naval Society. The same gloves there's a lot that's been washed up here. This old boat, look at it, it's been rescued. And even the uniforms. Not sure what that was. Okay, I had a click, and then I had something outside as well. I don't know if it was a seagull or... There's something down there. Wow, look at that.
what I'm hearing, lots of noises. That's a train nearby. I'm assuming they'll be stopping soon. This is the thing, when you're out here, you kind of feel like some, you're being watched a lot from above. I believe shadows have been seen up there. It does feel like you've been watched. Especially up there. Nose to my right now. Wow, look, stalactites. And stalagmites. Okay, up here, noises all around. When I was walking out this area then, to my right outside I thought I heard like stones crunching underfoot. These are all what's been found. Parts of a lightning fighter aircraft which crashed locally. It returned damage from an enemy air raid in World War II. And they were telling me that this chap here, Lieutenant Joseph Flutie, he um, apparently was shot in the foot. He managed to get the plane back, but it crashed land. Just not far from here, just outside of Colchester. Apparently, even I think he f collapsed at the uh, well, collapsed at the wheel, I suppose, effectively at the controls. And sadly, him and the crew, all on board, died. So Harwich Redoubt Fort is a brilliant place. I'm glad I came back here. Remember, I, I was here once in, in about 2007, I think it was. And I've done a lot to the place since. More areas are accessible. It's just really, really nicely done. And I can't wait to crack on and try and communicate to some spirits. So what entails? Let's see, let's find out. I think it's time to flip to night vision. All right, guys and girls, so what I'm gonna do now is do a... I think I'm gonna try a few different areas. I really wanna do the cells, definitely, but I had a feeling in the other room where all the artifacts were from the planes that come down, might be worth doing something in there as well. So, <clears throat> first things first, let's... Uh... Someone's standing over there. First things first, let's go to that way. I'm gonna go that way, I'm drawn that way. Anderson shelter was. 
Oh, this is ah. Oh. This is where I thought I saw something. So here we are, back here. Here's the parts. Amazing. So I thought I'd bring the yeah, with me right now. Have a clay pie in my hands. Are any of these playing bits yours? Oh, and they hit them. I just had a very small hit. Are you here with me right now? This won't hurt you, this green light. Oh, is this room? Someone whistling. Someone whistling. Where do you want me to go? Where are you? Can you close one of the doors to let me know? Close one of the doors to let me know where you are. Industry's very loud here. It's miles away, there, that's the trouble. It's probably the wind direction. Oh, that's a funny spot here. Are you in here? All right, so what I've done is I've switched on the SLS camera. It's just up here and I'll overlay it so you can see what it picks up, if it picks up anything. Remember, treat it with caution. It's early technology on the phones, but it's based on the Connect SLS. Oh, oh no, that's correct. So it's picked up 
them too, which is good. Uh, that, what's that? I think it's, sometimes you see it gets weird anomalies. Like that. So throughout the night, not only did I try the ghost tube SLS, I also did various other forms of communication. I also did a dictaphone recording, which you're now joining me towards the end. But it's not the dictaphone that was actually giving me some results. I swear I could hear something in the room. So I'm going to leave this area now. I realise you might not have wanted to talk to me. But if you do want to talk to me while I'm here at the fault, please feel free. So this is the one I've been a bit hesitant about. This is the cells. So let's give it a try. Lots of people have had problems on investigations in this area. Another option. This is the first time in a while I've tried a Ouija board. Please do not repeat what I'm about to do. As you'll see, on the night, I started having crazy stuff go wrong.
Are you touching it right now? Do you not want me to set this up in here? That's really... That's... Can you walk... Let's get faster. Can you walk away from it? Do you want me to leave? If you want me to leave, stop. Can you stop touching the uh, device, please? Can you stop touching the device? Jesus Christ. Lights alone, please. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you how to do the white light spell for protection purposes around myself during this part of the program. But I'll tell you now that protection was placed around me. I've done Ouija boards over the past 15 years, and this is the first time I've ever had something like this occur before I've even touched a board. Spirits here. I'm calling out to any spirits here wishing to communicate.
this hasn't this spirit box hasn't really gone off at all, not it? So get quiet on that one. But right now I'm just walking around this moat and uh, yeah, just thought I'd have a little wonder before I pack off and go home. Been here for ages, nearly eight hours. No, out I've been here eight hours, it'll be nine hours shortly. Look at that. That's my way out. I can't get up. I need to get up there. <laughs> What's up everybody? Thanks for watching Paranormal Torch here at Readout Fort. I really enjoyed it. Now, remember, if you see anything in this video, make sure you leave a comment on the section where it was. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button, share like crazy, and I'll see you on the next video.